Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute centre pop-out card. So this is the front. It's a 6x6 six six card base and then when you open it up you have this pop-out piece which is acetate so it gives the illusion that Mr Snowman there is flying through the air above the treetops and I just love how this one's come together. I've done all the background so it's this nice snowy scene and then again all of those that's like flying over the woods you've got a nice little sentiment area here so happy Christmas if you wanted to you could continue the scene there as well and have that on the back which is what I do a lot of the time but I thought this time I'm going to put it inside just so it's something a bit different just realize I need to trim that a little bit there because it's just catching ever so slightly but um, once you see how you put it together it's very easy for you to adapt and then the front I've just used my Posca pen done some faux stitching and again created that scene so that it kind of gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect when you open it up. So it's very easy to make so let me show you how. Okay so the stamps I'm using are the snowman. Now I actually purchased these from the Creative Craft Show. They were £3 for three. It was an absolute bargain. They're the official brand by Raymond Briggs and you know how much I love the Father Christmas so when I saw the snowman I had to buy it. So I will try and find links to sellers but um, I can't promise anything I'm afraid there but this would work really well for a flying Father Christmas the Father Christmas stamp set that recently launched that I shared a few cards that I made there's Santa in his sleigh that kind of thing would be great but also it doesn't have to be a Christmas card you know you could have flowers on there all kinds of different things for the Christmas tree or the, or the tree tops, I use the large one here which is part of the Elegant Room Builder set by Paper Discovery. I just cut with using my scraps and you can see look, some I just cut literally just the top bit so however big my scrap was that's what I cut. And I've just got all different shades of green here ready to stick so they're all ready. Then I've stamped and coloured my images. I've already done the top piece here okay. I'll give you the measurements for the mats and layers but um, in terms of putting it all down you don't need to see me do that it's the, um, the inside parts the most important but there's one of the images I used my Arteza coloured pencils because I wanted to have that grainy effect because that's part that's what it looks like in the movie so it's um, yeah I think they've turned out really well and then I've also done the owl and the hair and then I've also done the fox there and stamped this piece as well again I'll give you all of the measurements so first of all and I've got the Posca pen there as well. So you want a six by six card blank. I've cut this from a piece of navy card stock. So you want a piece that's 12 by six and then score along the 12 inch side at six inches and then fold and burnish to give you your card blank, okay? Then you want a piece of acetate that is six by 12. And the acetate I'm using is the Crafter's Companion. It's this one here and it's 12 inches by nine. So it's a really good size. So, and it's perfect for using with your Gemini foil press as well, but that's the acetate I've used today. So what you want to do first of all is, make sure I get my score lines correct, so let's grab my stylus. So you want to score at three and nine. Okay, make sure you push down hard so you can really embed those score lines. And then flip it over and score at six. Okay, and then leave it in that, leave it that way, don't turn it back over again. Right, that's all the scoring done. Okay, so still with that piece of acetate, that middle six inch score line you want to fold so it's a mountain. Okay, just make sure everything stays all lined up. I always like to fold acetate with my fingers first and then maybe burnish, but you can usually you can do enough of it with your fingers, you don't need to bring in, because sometimes you might um, scratch it. And then the outer score lines, you want to create valley folds. So now you should have this concertina piece. There we go. All right, so that centre six inch score line is going to be a mountain, and then the other two are valleys. So, in fact, while we've got that, so then fold it up like that. The two outer sides, you want to apply double sided tape. So, I'm just going to run some of my red tape here if I can find the end and just run it along well just a few strips really it's just to stick it inside the card I'd focus on the two long outer sides and then you can just put another strip through the center there okay so again I'll just bring it up so you can see that's just a bit of blue fluff that should go in a minute but there's that middle six inch line there's the valley, it's on the back side. OK, 
okay because that's what we're sticking into the card so again there it is all squashed up so then this side here and once you see me put it together it will make more sense as well it's, it is hard to see the acetate until you start sticking it against stuff okay so now that's what you'll have so pop that to one side okay what we want to do now is we want to if you're doing a similar scene to me is I want to create my snow scene in the background so this is going to stick here and here okay so if I bring that up so it's going to stick like that so all within this kind of six inch section because this is three inches three inches I want to cover with snow but it doesn't matter if you go over so basically just I mean kind of start about here really and I never think about it I just go for it and then you can kind of fill in any gaps that you might see give the pen a good shake I've already been using mine before I started filming so I know it's okay but always give it a really good shake and right now I'm just doing kind of little you know snow flurries and then I'm gonna draw in some larger ones and it's those hand-drawn larger ones that I think give it quite an authentic look so don't you know like I said I'm not thinking about it if you really start positioning them it, that's when you kind of yeah don't okay so now I've done it like this next I'm just going to draw it might still be a little bit wet it does dry pretty quick but I'm going to just do some larger and some a bit smaller and again I'm not really thinking about it some a bit bigger than others let's do a nice big one there you kind of clustered together you just want to make some a bit more kind of intense I guess ones that stand out a bit better like so you see by adding those bigger ones it gives it more of an authentic look so again let's do a big one there do one there and my circles aren't even perfect like I said you don't don't think about it and the ones at the bottom are going to get covered anyway but there you go, I'm happy with that. So I went and done the same as well on a piece here. So this piece here is three by six and I've just done exactly the same again. I must have smudged that one up there. So I'm just going to do another one kind of next to it. There you go, it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, a piece of three by six. In fact, you want two pieces of three by six, but one I've done with the snow and one is gonna be on the other side here. So now we wanna bring in the acetate. Now, if you've got anything else you wanna kind of stick behind here then do so now we are going to be sticking the trees but I find it easier to do that when the acetate's down because you're only going in underneath here and it's really easy to do so first of all I'm just going to take the backing off of one side so I'm just taking it off of the left hand side okay and then you want to line up this edge of the acetate with the edge here and because it's exactly the same size it will sit perfectly within that section and then push it down and when it goes dark then you know that you're getting the air bubbles out and that tape is sticking to your cardstock like so now I've got one side stuck down so then I'm going to take the backing off of this one and then I'm going to go across to the other side and again just make sure that you get it all lined up okay now you have your pop-up piece and it all folds flat you might have to rework the acetate a little bit but it will all go back into its place like so and it will stand up nicely on that right angle so it's got a real nice um yeah it stands well <laughs> okay then I'm going to stick this piece over here and it will sit perfectly and that piece I'm going to stick over there now again because I'm sticking onto acetate I find the red tape works best so I'm just going to pop that on the backs of both of these pieces just butt it right up to the fold of the acetate and stick that one down and again this one right into the fold and now that acetate piece is completely concealed I just think it looks really nice against the cardstock acetate and then cardstock has just got quite a nice I just think it's got a nice look about it so next we want to start adding the treetops so I'm going to stick them down last because then you can kind of see where you want to position them and we'll stick that on the front in a minute. So I've probably done about 16, 
14, 16, something like that. So I've got a large one here. I am going to try and just follow what I've already done there. So I've got that large one and I've, you can see I've cut some of it off and it's always best to stick it full and then cut from the back side. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that in a minute. But I'm going to have that one there and then I've just got all kind of taller ones inside there. So let me show you inside first and then the rest of it I'll just put on high speed because it's, you know, it's pretty straightforward once you seen a couple so I'm going to go for that colour quite high up and I'm going to line this one up actually with the bottom of the card so I'm not going to trim anything off that one actually tell a lie I'm going to trim that little bit off there like so so like that and then I've got the same there so let's just trim that bit off And I'm going to stick that one on the other side. So all I've done is just I'm not putting much tape on at all. I'm just running a strip through the middle. And that's it. You know, it's just a very lightweight piece. You don't need to go mad with it. If you want to lose, use liquid glue so you've got a bit of wiggle room, you can do. But you just then want to pop it up inside, making sure it stays within that three inch kind of space that it has. I'm just lining up the bottom. If you're worried that you won't line it up with the bottom, then come down a bit and then trim it. But now I've got that one there. Then I'm going to come to this side and do the same. Again, just line that one up like that. And then I've got these kind of smaller pieces, which I'm going to sit that one there. So for this one, I will use a bit of liquid glue, actually, because it's just so small. So just a little bit on the back. And then you can just kind of slide it around. I come in a little bit just so it doesn't catch when that folds. There we go. And then let's go for this darker one here. I think I'm going to come in a bit closer to the middle with this one. So I'm not really kind of like planning it. I'm just kind of because again, if these kind of things, if you think about it too much, then it, I don't know, it doesn't look as authentic. Whereas if you just do it and don't think about it, then it looks a bit better. There you go. Okay, so that's those. And then you just want to do the same on the outside. So let, let me just stick the big one down. So I don't want to put glue over everything, just really this side. And then... Um, yeah, I'm going to go over there because I'm going to trim off quite a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Just come in a bit more there. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry. Now with the pieces that you stick on the acetate, you do need to add red tape to the back of. So again, I don't want these long kind of strips. Just want them like that. There we go. So like that one there, I will just put some red tape through the center again but it will just stick much better than a liquid glue so yeah just do the same on the acetate as you did with the inside like so okay so I'm just going to pop it on high speed and get these done Okay, so that's inside there. Sorry the light's catching on it, but you can just about see it. Then with this one on the front, you just want to go in from, you know, underneath and cut, because then you can line up your scissors with the edge of the card much easier than you would by going, you know, that way, because you can't see it. And again, just gonna come in this way, actually. Okay, so now you can see how that looks when it's all cut off. I don't know, I like it when it's just kind of coming off the side there. Then you want to stick everything down, so I've put some double sided tape on the back of this piece. So he's the main one, so I'm going to have him, he just fits in this three inch section. Like so. And then I've got the little owl, he's going to be a bit lower. Like so. And then the little rabbit or the hair. Okay. 
So whilst that's drying, I am then going to stick this piece down. So this is the this one here is a piece of five and a half squared, the white, and then this is five by five squared. Okay, so I've got a much thicker border on each one there. Okay, so just bring it up. So there's the front, and then you open it up. And you've got that really cool scene. I love it, I really, really do. I, I, if you saw my um, unboxing, no, sorry. If you saw my what did I get video, you would have seen my excitement when I got these stamps. I couldn't wait to start using them. So I'm really pleased with the card that I've created. And if you're a fan of the snowman, or you know someone that is, and you have this stamp set, then uh, yeah, I think uh, you're gonna be, uh, it's gonna be really appreciated, but I do need to just sort that bit out. I think I've just stuck it. Try not to go too close there. I mean, it's fine, it's obviously just lifted slightly, so I just need to put a bit of red tape underneath that corner. But um, yeah, there you have it. So thank you for watching my tutorial today. I hope it's inspired you. Oh, I haven't done my stitching. So you just get your pen and literally just go along nice little dash lines. There you go, done. So thank you for watching. Hope it's inspired you. Please give me a thumbs up if it has and consider subscribing to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.